Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. For today's video we're going to be changing over the big seasonal scene on my display table and since it's summertime I want to make a beach themed kind of scene, seaside. So this is how my seaside shelf looks at the moment and I kind of want to take this concept and expand it out so that it covers this whole table over here and I'll be taking down the kind of Tomy era high street and changing it over to the beach. So first things first we need to get everything that's on the display table tidied away so we've got a clean surface to start from. And now we've got completely clean slate to work with, it's time to start setting up the seaside scene. And here's the basic layout that I've come up with for the seaside scene. 
I've got some other bits and pieces to put on here as well as some figures so I think I'll do the rest off camera and then we can go in and take a closer look and here is the finished scene I'll take you off the tripod and we can look at all the little details as ever let's start on the left hand side and move left to right so here we can see Elsie's ice cream cart and she's just arriving for what's looking like a very busy day. Then these palm trees here, I made these myself using a DIY from Sylvanian Storytime. I'll post the link to the video here, but if you haven't checked out her channel, she does really amazing dioramas. And she's got lots and lots of tutorials on how she makes kind of scenery pieces and pathways and it's a really, really helpful resource. Really easy to follow, proved by the fact that I have followed the tutorial and made my own palm trees. So definitely go and check that out, especially if you're looking to make scenery for your dioramas or setups. So Elsie's coming in here and then we've kind of got like a boardwalk or kind of promenade, patio kind of area. And here I've used Lakeside Lodge and transformed it into a and b or a bed and breakfast. So it's run by the Cottontail grandparents in this scenario. And you can see grandmother here and she's welcoming the snow rabbits and they're about to check in as guests. They've got their suitcase, they've got their traveling bag and they're looking forward to a nice stay at the seaside. And then up here we can see the Checkers Bulldog family. So the son and daughter are out here on the balcony taking in all the views. And then in the bedroom, you can see mother is desperately trying to unpack the suitcase and the two little toddlers are bouncing around on the bed, very excited to be on holiday. And father is trying to stop them so mother can open the suitcase and then they can all get out and enjoy the seaside. Down here, so we used this building before to set up like a themed cafe with the Sumiko Garashi remint set but I've transformed it now into an ice cream parlour as I thought that was kind of perfect so they run a B&B &B and ice cream parlour. Grandpa Cottontail is in there and you can see this is the soft serve ice cream stand and I also left in one of the Sumiko Garashi cake stands and just to fill it out a little bit more and then we've got the sign there from the Sumiko Garashi one and this ice cream from the soft serve. Anyone who has been to the British seaside knows that these are prevalent everywhere. So I had to include it on this scene. And in there we can see the two little Osborne bears fawning over all the different sweet treats that they might have. And we've also got the Neptune sea otters here. And they've bought an ice cream for little Sandy here and she's got her little purse so she's probably bought it with her own pocket money. We've got a croquet set here so that you could play croquet out on the beach when it's a little bit less busy than today. Here we've got the Dappledorns and they are having a cup of tea and a nice cake. And then here is the Osborne Bear father and he is wondering where on earth Jason and Piers have run off to. I'm sure he'll find them very quickly when he realises that there is somewhere to get food just over there. Then coming along again, in the foreground here we've got the Fennec Fox family and they've set up a little picnic, enjoying their day on the beach. The whole family is here and the little toddler here has made friends with this Neptune sea otter and they're collecting shells and absolutely filling up the bike with them. They've got a bucket full, so many they're spilling out onto the floor and the sisters just realise what they're doing and she finds it quite funny. Then in the background we've got the seaside restaurant and in my village that's run by the Neptune sea otters so you can see the father just here. And then we've got the cove sea otters because they look so similar in my village they're very closely related so they're kind of like cousins. Then inside the restaurant you can see there's the silk cat family here and I thought it would make sense for a cat family to be enjoying seafood since cats generally quite like fish. Mother Neptune is in there and she is taking their orders and kind of bringing them food. They've got a grill in the middle of the table so they're ordering bits and pieces to cook on the grill. 
However, the two little toddlers down here have realised that there's an ice cream parlour right there and they're not interested in the actual food. They would really like some ice cream so they are plotting their escape over the railings now that they've seen Sandy Neptune and her ice cream. Got another little palm tree in the back and then some street lights. And then moving forwards, so this is the water plate that comes with the seaside restaurant but I thought it would be nice to kind of set it up almost like a little baby, toddler, child paddling pool. So that's kind of how I've done it. There's another little Neptune sea otter over here collecting shells. Then we've got the two cove otters and they're playing about. And then we've also got one of the river otters here on the cute inflatables. I had to include these inflatables on the scene and this seemed like a kind of safe place to do that so they wouldn't go drifting out to sea. And then over here we've got the Fennec Fox sister and the little Walnut Squirrel brother and they're having a water fight. And these little pebbles are, they're actually for putting in your fish tank or aquarium, but they were the perfect scale for making kind of a pebbly border. They came out perfect. I think the size on those was four to five millimetre aquarium pebbles essentially. And there's also these tiny little shells. So those were for use in like confetti bags. And I just got those on eBay and again they're like four to five millimetre size. There's also a little crab scurrying around there. Then moving along again, here we've got the Hunter Smythe chocolate Dalmatian family and also the Farthing Orchard Dog family and they are having a picnic as well. So here I'm using the barbecue from the set that comes with the Chantilly Father and then also the Day at the Seaside set which is where these deck chairs and windbreak are from. Also a lot of the accessories like these sandcastles and buckets and things. The toddlers are having a great time playing in the sand and building a sandcastle. Everyone else is eating food from the barbecue, the dads are having a chat about what's in the paper and then the son is back here, he wanted to get a pineapple slice from the ice cream cart and then his little place is set here. Then looking back we've got the Waddle Penguin family, so the mum's got her parasol because it's quite a hot day and the little baby has an ice cream shaped like himself. Then in the back we've got the ice cream sellers and this ice cream shop. That's quite similar to how I had it set up on the scene on my shelf. Just kind of expanded it out a little bit. And we've got the Cove Dad and the Waddle Dad buying some more ice cream. You can see they've got their little takeaway boxes there. I really like the Cove Dad shell purse so I thought it would make sense for him to be buying something. Then moving along again, here we've got the Floater Seal family and they are setting up their picnic and folding out the chairs. Mother's going for the flask to pour out some drinks and Dad is unfolding the chairs. The little babies have made quick work of building this sandcastle and putting the little flag in. They're very pleased with themselves for that. Then at the back we've got the summer house but I like to call it a beach hut because I think it does look more like a beach hut to me and we've got another barbecue going on these are the sea breeze rabbits and the father is barbecuing up some fish mother's got some salad prepared and some ice cream for afters but the children are very very excited they don't want to wait they want to go and play with the football so mother's kind of saying, okay, you can go and play, but you must come back when the food's ready, otherwise it'll get cold. And they're like, yeah, 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 we'll be back. Then in just here, we've got the marmalade grandmother and she's enjoying a lovely lounge in the sun with her umbrella and her lounger. Then grandpa marmalade is over here and he's doing some fishing whilst he watches the children children are out on the water on these swan boats. I thought they kind of reminded me of pedalos. They're having fun out there. We've also got Ingrid in her rowboat and Captain Sea Dog and we'll come to them in a minute. 
Here we've got the solitaire cat siblings and brother's been knocked down by a wave and now he's soaking his trousers and sister's laughing at him. She's also got a rubber ring pretending to save him from the sea but he's not really in any danger. Then here we've got the honey bear family. Dad's watching on as the son is thinking about getting into the water with his rubber ring. Sister's like, not a chance I'm getting in there, it's far too cold. Then we've got the Patches dog siblings and they're all dressed for the beach and they look like they're definitely going to be going for a swim very shortly. Back here we've got Dolly and her candy floss bike and the rest of the Osborne family, so the mother and the daughter are getting some candy floss. This bit is kind of like a dock and I was very annoyed at myself that I realised too late that these cobblestone plates have a wooden side on the other side and I wish I'd turned them over and had this kind of distinguished from the rest by being wooden but by the time I remembered that I'd already put the fence up and all the stones and got it all balanced so I wasn't going to take it all down to flip them over so just pretend it's more of like a wooden dock. So over here we've got the ice cream van and Mrs Osborne is in there so I imagine Finley and Francesca as kind of sister and brother to the other Osborne bears. So the ice cream van, you've got the rest of the marmalade children, so the sister and the baby brother, and they're getting some scoops of ice cream. Then we've got the fish and chip van with Finley Osborne and the cake breads are here and they are getting some fish and chips. The sister and the brother already have theirs and they're sat at the table, mum and dad are just getting theirs. And little Milo here is admiring the box of flowers, enjoying the smells and the colours. And then you can see we've got stones all the way along and then the sea comes in. So here's Ingrid in her little rowboat. She's having a lovely time, she's got her parasol, her sun hat, camera and some books to read while she's paddling around on the sea. I kind of think of this as like a bay so it's quite smooth the water, not too rough today. And then right at the back here we've got Captain Sea Dog and he is having a chat with Miss Marble who is paintbrush in hand and painting the scene before her on this easel. And that's the whole scene. I really like it when you look at it from this angle. Everyone looks like they're having a great time. So that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this newest big setup with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.